China is preparing to unveil Southeast Asia's first high-speed railway. The project is part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. It will connect Jakarta with West Java's most populated city, Bandung. Most important project between Indonesia and China, and as the largest foreign investment in Indonesia history, this project is this straight position. So. This time of the G20 meeting, Indonesia said is the chairman. We have to do the showcase about our project to show the cooperation between Indonesia and China to show the fast development of Indonesia society. The project is expected to exhilarate both social and economic growth in the country. This project will completely transform Indonesia's transportation industry. Hundreds of people commute between Jakarta and Bandung each and every day. Usually it would take around two and a half hours by car, but with this train it would take just around 45 minutes. A monumental progress for millions of people that have to brave Jakarta's traffic daily. I think uh, the development or the construction of the high-speed railway is not only to bring the benefit to the people, to the transportation sector, but uh, also give, give the benefit to the, such example, for the Indonesian railway development, mm -hmm. and then for the aspect of technology, and then also for the economic point of view. And this operation of the high-speed railway uh, Jakarta-Bandung in next year, hopefully in next year, yeah. is the significant on an important milestone for the development of the railways in Indonesia. The high-speed train is targeted to start early operations in June 2023. Silkina Alawalia, CGTN, Bandung.